Idaho Base Camp. It's one of the most magical and incredible places I've ever been to. Just being able to sit out here and just admire the beautiful mountain ranges and it's a dark sky, so you're literally seeing millions upon millions of stars. The scenery is stunning. The camp itself is just like a magical place. And from the sustainable home building that they've done on this property for inspiration to the people who have all come here and you know put this magical place together, it's just, it's really been an incredible experience so far. Idaho Base Camp is a place that's just so incredibly special to me. I'm the founder of Hempitecture, a company that is focused on the implementation of hemp creation. Uh, we're experimenting with hempcrete installation technology, hemp building materials, and we believe that hemp habitats can create a healthier, cleaner, greener future. I first got interested in hemp when I was about seven years old. I was standing in the kitchen with my mom, and she was holding a spool of rope, and she was like, this is hemp rope, honey. The government thinks I'm going to light this up and smoke it. And I just, I was so intrigued from that point on about, you know, why hemp had been suppressed and just kind of what the story was behind it. And my mom just taught me that it was for the earth and from the earth and it was a great plant for multiple reasons from building to textiles to plastic and everything in between. To be able to have the hemp plant that grows so fast, 90 to 120 days, it's one of the most carbon absorbing plants out there, then to mix it and putting in uh, the hempcrete mixing process and when it's curing with the lime, that's absorbing CO2. Vapor permeable, so that's very healthy. It keeps very good high air quality within the homes and really addressing um, the toxicity and health issues we have within our homes. Hempcrete is an incredibly unique material and it kind of requires a unique set of skills and experience to uh, successfully complete a hempcrete installation. And so this workshop was really great because we were able to show people the sort of traditional method of installing hempcrete, cast in place, and then show it side by side with the new school technology of spray applied. Uh, so that's something that Hempitecture has really been focused on is how do we take a material that we know has inherently great benefits and make it more affordable, make it more accessible, uh, and kind of bring it more in line with standard U.S. construction practices. Here we've debuted uh, the first spray applied hempcrete machine that's ever been used in North America. Every single participant here got to get their hands on this new piece of equipment and see what it's like to project hempcrete uh, through this uh, spray applied mechanism. So where I see the future building with hemp going is it's going to be a train that can't be stopped, which I'm thrilled about because we need much more sustainable resources when it comes to home building. You hear about cases of mold, but then you know the toxicity that's coming off of paints and you know all these other agents that are being used um, on a regular basis in homes is not sustainable for humans or for our environment. And I think hemp is an incredible resource um, and an incredible opportunity for people to do something that they love and make money at it. It starts essentially with a bucket mixer that has a super high capacity. It's powered by uh, hydraulic skid steer. And so that is able to just blast through hempcrete and really mix it at a rate that we've never even been able to see before using our smaller scale mixers. And that's super important because when we're talking about spray applying the material, we're talking about getting the material in the wall as fast as possible to create buildings and, and habitats that are built affordably. That uh, doesn't take you know, three to six months to do this process, but instead it takes three to six days to do the process, that's a revolutionary game changer. Idaho Base Camp is truly a, a, a special place and people come here not knowing what they're walking into. And, and I think, uh, you know, one thing that's been echoed this weekend is that so many elements of Idaho Base Camp have been crafted with care and love and intention. And uh, a lot of hard work has gone into here. I'd encourage people to come out here, utilize this place for what it's built for, for bringing people together, for connecting individuals to each other, and perhaps most importantly, connecting individuals and everyone to nature.